Well, good morning. And welcome to another clear, I would say almost sunny day in Cambridge. Now today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about smart tariffs because there's a brand new smart tariff from Octopus. Now it's not a smart tariff for solar users or a smart tariff for heat pump owners. Want to know more? Stay tuned, and we'll get into it. So a couple of weeks ago, Octopus introduced a brand new smart tariff for people with storage heaters. Now, as I'm going to get no peace to talk to you here, let's head into the office and I'll tell you more about this smart tariff. Now, welcome back inside. Now, before we start, I'm before I start sounding like a complete fanboy, I want to acknowledge that Octopus are doing an incredible job in leading the charge with smart tariffs in the UK. Finding ways to bring cheaper energy to lots of different types of, of houses, to different people, and trying to find ways to save you money. Now, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of people in the comments who are saying that all energy companies are evil and they're all trying to just take as much money as they can. But if you look at the way that Octopus is bringing their smart tariffs to market, they're focusing on very specific segments. They're looking at very specific groups of users and seeing what they can do to make energy cheaper for them. Now, with that said... This video is not sponsored by Octopus. I'm just a big fan of what Greg and his team have been doing over the last couple of years. So let's talk about this new smart tariff. So back in the middle of November, Octopus introduced their new tariff, Snug Octopus. Now Snug Octopus didn't get a lot of press, certainly that I saw. I haven't seen a lot of people talking about it. So maybe it's aimed at a slightly different segment, a different type of user um, than, than I would normally interact with. But I think this is a really clever tariff. Now, Snug Octopus is a smart tariff for people with storage heaters. Now, some of you are probably saying, weren't they a technology from the 1970s? And they, they absolutely were. I mean, I grew up in a house that had storage heaters. Um, we actually had a separate meter in the garage that, that monitored the power that was being used by the storage heaters and charged it at a cheaper rate. But there are modern storage heaters out there. In fact, we have two in our conservatory. Now, that might seem strange given we have a heat pump and, and everything that we've talked about in the past, but our conservatory can't be on the on the on what's called the wet system um, because it's classed as a temporary structure. So we have two electric storage heaters in there. So you might be thinking, are we going to switch to Snug Octopus? Well, probably not, but let me talk about the reasons why. Now, I went to the Octopus website and I put in my postcode and these were the rates that came back for me. They may differ in your area as uh, different DNOs have different standing charges and in some regions, electricity is a little more expensive or a little cheaper than it is where I live. But the rates that they gave me were nine pence per kilowatt hour for a night rate, a day rate of 28.44 and a standing charge of 49.21. So again, your rates may differ, check them on the Octopus website. What does this tariff give you? Well, it's very similar to some of the intelligent tariffs for EV owners. So basically you get six hours at night on the cheap rate electricity, in this case at nine pence for me, um, of which time you can heat your house, you can store the heat in your storage heaters, um, ready to discharge that heat during the day. You also get an extra hour in the afternoon to boost the heater, to heat it up so that it can discharge its heat throughout the evening. And just like the intelligent tariffs, Octopus can give you extra sessions. So you might get uh, one or two hours in the evening just to get, bring the heat back up in your house. Now, the way you do this is you set a temperature in the Octopus app. And if your storage heaters you know, are pushing out heat, but the temperature in the rooms are starting to drop, then Octopus will give you extra low cost periods where you can run the storage heater at nine pence per kilowatt, even though it might be in the middle of the evening. So it's a great way to keep your house at a constant temperature if you use storage heaters and keep the cost of running them right down. Now, those extra periods, um, they're not guaranteed. Um, obviously, they're dependent on things like the weather, the temperature outside. But it's nice to know that if you do need that extra heat, that it will be charged at the lower rate. Now, one of the other great things about Octopus Smart Tariffs is 
even though it's your storage heaters that will kick in these extra sessions, any time that the storage heaters are using the cheap rate sessions, you'll also be charged that same rate for everything you use in your house. Now, there are some caveats here. You do require a smart meter, and I've heard from a lot of people in the north of England who are saying that um, they've got smart meters, but they can't actually get a smart tariff because the, uh, the mobile phone networks that are used for the smart meters just don't have reception where they live. So you do require a smart meter. You do require that smart meter to be active in giving 30-minute uh, readings to be able to get this smart tariff. And you do require a compatible storage heater. Now, the storage heaters I have in my conservatory are not compatible with this. These heaters require a direct wiring into your meter so the octopus can turn them on and off. So they have a, a physical wire that runs into the smart meter. If you have one of those types of smart meters, then go onto the octopus website. You can actually check that if it's going to be compatible or not. But if you've got some of the, the more modern ones like I have that are Wi-Fi only, then they may not work. Now, it is worth checking because Octopus say that they're going to be adding support for those over time. But uh, right now, certainly my heaters are not compatible with this tariff. So where does it rank? If you have access to all of these tariffs, um, you, know, you have an EV that's compatible with Oct Intelligent Octopus Go, then obviously that's the ta tariff to be on because you get your energy at seven and a half pence per kilowatt. And you can also heat up your, uh, your storage heaters during that time as well. If you don't have a compatible EV or charger, then I would go with Octopus Go because that will give you energy at 8.5 pence. Then Snug fits in right in, in after that at 9 pence per kilowatt hour. Then obviously if you're a heat pump owner, um, you can have that uh, uh, cozy octopus where you get the three low cost se sessions a day, um, running in at about 12 pence per uh, per kilowatt hour during those three periods. So actually it might be worth doing a comparison. If you have storage heaters and a heat pump, I know that's probably a pretty small group, but if you do, you might want to look and see if Snug might be better for you than Cozy, because I think the lower cost at 9p might work out just slightly better for you. So I think this is a really great addition to Octopus's family of smart tariffs. Now, it's not going to be for everybody. I know for the vast majority of people who are watching this video, they probably thought think that storage heaters went the way of the dinosaurs a couple of decades ago, and that not all storage heaters that are out there are going to be compatible. As I say, some of the newer ones, the, the Wi-Fi controlled ones, the smart home storage heaters, um, are probably not going to work straight out of the box. But if that is your way of heating your house, then do check back on the Octopus website over the next couple of months and see if they add support for your heaters. And no matter what, this is going to be a better option for you uh, than being on Tracker or one of the fixed tariffs because of that low cost to run your storage heaters. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you found this useful. It's really interesting to see that Octopus are doing everything they can to bring smart tariffs to as much of the market as possible. With that, we're going to sign off because we're heading out for a walk and I'll see you all real soon for another video. Take care. Bye-bye.